Get them, spin them, unless I'm shooting. How are you today? Hi! Oh my God, great to see you. And we back for another video. I'm not really sure why I said we, because it's just me. But then it is you guys, so it is a we thing. We are a team. Listen, I know I'm looking kind of crazy right now. I know that. I probably look crazy all the time to you guys. That's what I was thinking. We're about to do this you part wig video. Let me tell y'all something. I have not done a you part in so long, okay? Okay. Who would have thunk it that my first wig, okay, makes a you part wig? Okay, listen, hunties. I'm about to try to rock. These are my people's. I love my first wig. I love RPG show. They have the best wigs by far. And I swear to you that if you get one from them, you're definitely not going to be disappointed. People might think that they are a little bit pricey. And yeah, they might be a little bit pricey, a little bit coins, but you get what you pay for. You want a wig that you ain't got to do anything to, like do nothing. <laughs> You definitely want to check them out they have the most undetectable invisible look like your scalp is just flawless wigs on their website own it you know what i'm saying like be fierce and know it okay it! i do have me a you part wig this hair texture is beautiful definitely going to show you guys how your wig comes so just stay in store for that so let me tell y'all something y'all know i don't do the, na the nail thing i don't sometimes i might put on some press-ons this is the worst that i've ever braided my hair in my entire life like i really could not grasp the hair i could barely put in the bobby pins and the hair pins this is a hot mess i'm gonna get into this real quick and that's about it when you receive your unit from my first wig you receive it in their standard black packaging you'll also receive some amazing package such as the oil deep conditioner, which will help smooth your hair out and also add softness and sheen. You'll also receive a two-piece wig cap, hair clips, bobby pins, a rat tail comb. Your unit will also come in this pink bag. It's easy to store and see through. And the amenities will come in this little black and white pouch. You'll also receive an instructional booklet and my first wig has also thrown in some disposable face masks and alcohol swabs. The unit that I received is their U part, and this states that it's a silky texture in 20 inches. But the texture to me is more or less a yakky texture. The unit is very full. The unit is wearable straight out of the package. The unit also comes with a black adjustable strap. And on the top is where the U part wig will need to be cut in order to wear it. As you guys can tell from the texture of this hair, it is more or less a yakky texture. This is very acceptable for wearing straight out of the package. I went ahead and used a flat iron just to press mine. I'll link all of the information from my first wigs down below as they have many units to choose from. Alright you guys, so now that you've seen how your wig comes, you know what I'm saying, you get all the good stuff, the amenity, you can purchase extra stuff so that way you can be on the roll, be on the ball, you know, stay looking cute. Anything else? We just gonna jump right into this, please. I'm asking the hair gods above to let me just be able to rock this U part because my hair texture is a little bit different. The fourth wig video of the day, you know what I say, save the best for last. So with that being said, let's just get into this. Okay, you guys, as you see, there are combs in the inside and an adjustable strap and also a black elastic band that you can tighten or remove. Well, you can't remove it, but there's a black elastic band. So I was trying to wear the U part without cutting the actual elastic that goes across, just so that way it wouldn't sag on me. But 
kind of no way around that because your hair can't go through it. So you definitely need to cut the you into the wig. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta cut the elastic and stuff, girl. So I went ahead and got my got to be styling putty. I love this stuff. It will slick your hair down without any residue and mess and hardness. So I'm gonna use that on my edges. But because my hair is a little bit thinner um, than the wig, it's a lot thinner, you know what I'm saying? The texture is different. It's sometimes a little bit harder for me to blend it. But I would suggest that, for me, I always did a U-part, I had clips in mind. I never used the combs, and every time I did use the combs, it seemed like the wig would sag. So I prefer to use the wig clips in my U-part wig only because of my hair texture. But this is how it came out for me, you guys. But you know, hey. All right, you guys. Woosa, woosa, woosa. Okay, first of all, let me just say this. This was a task for me. Because for one, I have not wore a U-part wig in like, gosh, gosh knows how long. But I, the reason why I have not wore a U-part wig in so long is because my hair is thinner. It's not as thick as it used to be. And it makes it so hard for their combs to hold on. It seems like it just, they just keep slipping down. But I finagled it the best that I could. I really wanted to keep the two pieces of elastic on the top because that way it'll hold it together. But there was really no way for me to pull my hair out and just kind of like make it look natural. You know, you have to cut those, but I really wanted to try to keep them. But you know, that was just a little experiment and didn't work out. This wig is really pretty. The hair texture is really nice. But the one thing that I would suggest, because it's a U-part wig, it doesn't fit the same as an actual wig. So the cap does not have to be the same size as an actual wig. And though they put the adjustable straps and the black elastic band in it really didn't help me a lot because the wig is still very loose because it's a u-part so when you make a u-part it does not have to be the exact same size as an average size medium wig because it's a u-part you're gonna pull it back some because you need your front hairline circumference out Ooh. is that shape <laughs> wig is a little bit too big for my head because it's a u-part and it's not going to fit all the way down here as you would wear like a regular lace front so i think that's the mistake that they made with this particular unit i have had other u-parts from other wig companies and it's the same method they they make them the same size as they would an average size lace front wig or a full lace wig or whatever kind of lace front wig they make those these u-parts the same size and they cannot be the same size they definitely have to be smaller because because you're not fitting it on the entire portion of your head. The construction is great. It's very neatly sewn and so forth, but the cap needs to be smaller because it's a U-part. It's not a regular size wig. So that's the one issue that I have with the wig. The hair is bomb as hell. Like this hair is gorgeous. I cannot say enough about RPG show or my first wigs. They have the bombest wigs ever. And by far, like I'm just gonna be straight blunt like that. You know what I'm saying? They have the best wigs ever, okay? Okay. But this one just needed a little bit tweaking. It needs to be a little bit smaller. All I need to do is just sew it from the inside like I've done my other U-part wigs that I've received from companies, and then I'm good to go. But unfortunately for me, being that my hair texture is definitely thinner than this wig, meaning the texture of my hair, it is a little bit more straighter than the wig. It's, it takes a little bit harder for me to cover it up. You know what I'm saying? So I have to like tease my hair. And this worked best for me only because this portion of the U-part kept sticking out. So I had to kind of like twist my hair around just to make it work out for me. But you know, I made it work for me. I think I did. I think I did like a cute little job put my little baby hairs and stuff like that girl you know like that but you know I definitely have to do a little bit more work to blend my hair in with this type of texture but because my hair is thinner it doesn't really hold too tight to you part wigs but I this was the main problem that I was having today okay trying to be cute and fancy with this daggone nails but not allow me to braid my hair properly so the braid came out inside like I couldn't even grasp onto the wig like I really feel like 
screaming. You know, you try to be fancy and ladylike and feminine and sexy and cute and pretty and fancy. Own it, you know what I'm saying? Like, be fierce and know it, okay? But it doesn't work out all the time. So I'm over the nails. Not not really over them, but I'm over them for today. Um, Yeah, that was my rant. But anyway, like I was saying, the wig worked out somewhat. You know, you my hair is a lot thinner than the actual wig like you know the texture of it it's it's just a little bit more straighter so that's the downfall that i have with certain textures that's why i like to wear lace wigs or lace fronts because i can wear any texture i want girl okay Hi. <laughs> and just rock that but anyway i will say this i did turn a u-part wig into a half wig one time girl okay and i may just well i'm not gonna do that with this one because this one is gonna go to my daughter but the texture is bomb i use this flat iron right here the one that i got from amazon and it has like a little curl you could curl it whatever i use this to flat iron it along with this i use for my comb just to like trace behind it super easy to flat iron like when i tell you guys this wig was dumb easy to flat iron it was if you like it thicker like bigger like when i first showed it to you guys then you can leave it like that but i just put some you know some some flatness some heat to it and it just straightened it out perfectly the reason why i did that is because i needed to make sure that it blended a lot better to my own hair texture but you know what are you part you could do like various styles like you know for me i probably would like put it like this because this would make it hold a lot tighter for my head let me tell you guys i like wearing it like this with it pinned back and stuff because it'd be hot out in these streets and the girl is not trying to die or overheat because she's trying to look cute with a wig on okay okay summer hair friendly because you got your head breathing in the front and who don't like their head breathing that's what i was thinking that's why i say like you parts half wigs those are definitely summer friendly they cool and cute in the summer heat and on that note i got to go i don't gotta do another video but i got to clean up my mess i love you guys make sure you rate, comment, subscribe thumbs the video up i will see you guys in the next one bye 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 Bye. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe in the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.